To be slaves, not, not to be equals, to be right. slaves. Right. <laughs> so that proves, you know, hey man, Israel would never get cast off, man. They gonna continue to be his people forever. So Malachi 3 and 6, For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. That's right, man. That's the claim. Bring it to the point. Most I don't change nothing, man. Y'all like to think that when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, then that was it. The Most High had to change your heart. When they're supposed to be on the same mind, same same uh, spirit, right? Same accord, right? Same yesterday, today, and forever. Right? This is uh, Hebrews 13 and 8. Yahweh Shai, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. It is. That's plain and to the point, man. So the Lord didn't cast off his people, man. Now he put them away. Yeah, he, yeah. I, I, I got that. He cast them away? Hell yeah, he did. I would've, yeah, shit, if you got a bitch that's looking at uh, all these other men and shit, wouldn't you put her ass away too? She might not have, you know, went out there and popped them, but she's being wanton and shit, man. Yeah. Undisciplined, not listening to you. Wouldn't you want to give her a bill of divorce? Hey, that's the script. Yeah, that's the law. You can do that. Well, that's how the most I felt at the time, man, when Israel was going off. But guess what? A, recon uh, a reconciliation had to come yep. to bring them back. And who was the mediator of that? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, man. Right. You, this is something that you niggas that claim to have been in the truth 10 plus years, y'all supposed to know that. But you trying to say that's talking for the heathen. Let's go back to Romans 11. Yeah, something else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hebrews 13 and 8. Yahweh Shai, the same yesterday to and to today and forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. Yep. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. Yeah, man. So those different doctrines, those meats, it's not going to profit you if you keep going from doctrine to doctrine and they all off. You know? You eat shrimp, you you go over there and you picking up, you picking up shrimp from him. You go over there and you picking up a uh, ham from him, honey glazed ham from him. You go over there and picking up catfish from uh, Nate. <laughs> yeah. You know? Picking up crab from uh, uh, bubble eyes and shit. Them, them meats is not profiting you, man. It's gonna destroy you. All right. Go back to our Romans. Oh yeah. Also, uh, cause that dude, uh, that dude, uh, for, the 14th Street uh, fruit fruit beer. He called himself Hard Hard Rock Truth on YouTube. I call them Lord Not Truth. Lord Not Truth. Or Lord No Truth. Because basically, you, you you know, you cast them swine <laughs> yeah. before pearls, man. Because <laughs> yeah. you got men that's probably listening to you, but then they might wake up to your ass and be like, no, nah, this dude is way off. Mm -hmm. that's, you, that's the niggas that's casting swine before pearls, so to speak. You know, you niggas that's teaching your bullshit to men that are actually listening to you, but they actually see through your bullshit, man. Just like certain men that actually woke up, they, they actually used to listen to some of you guys, but they woke up to you and they flock to the right men of the Lord, the right doctrine, you know? I got something quick, I'll keep it quick too. Go ahead, huh? <laughs> uh, Matthew 7 and 9. Or what man is there of you whom, if his son asks bread, he will give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, he will give a serpent? That's basically what y'all did, and they woke up to that. Yep. You know, these, these, these real men out there that, that might be of the elect that was once following y'all, that really want the truth, and y'all giving them lies, man. Yep. You know, like the scripture said, who, uh, or what man is there of you? Whom, if his son asks bread, he will give him a stone. Y'all giving out stones, man, and serpents instead of fish and bread. 
you know? And y'all, and you act like you don't know, but I know you know. The most high really knows, and the angels know, man. They know, and you gonna pay for that. Back to Romans. Romans 11 and 1. Then say, oh, it's a lot. I say then, has the Most High cast away his people? Yahweh forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. The Most High has not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Which he foreknew. We already know that. You should know that. No, that was before the foundation of the world. Bro. The everlasting covenant. That's right. Go ahead. That's it. Uh, Walk ye not what the scripture said in Isaiah? Yeah, come on. It says, uh, how, how, it's a lot. How he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, but they seek my life. It says, uh, but what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Right. Elijah. Right. Salak, Salak. Yeah, Elijah, Salak, your brother. Right. And, Elijah. and, and that, that 7,000 yeah. is a completion of Elijah. Yeah. You know? The complete right. amount of men that the Lord had preserved from the foundation of the uh, world, you know what I'm saying, that wasn't going to be defiled with. Uh, Philosophies, man. They wouldn't bow down to, to you know, Baal, man. They were gonna be, they were gonna be, basically, which are the elect. That's basically the nutshell. It's talking about the elect, man. And when, you, and when the brother read down, that's what it's gonna actually say. Those men wasn't gonna bow down to uh, Baal, man. They wouldn't. They wasn't gonna be defiled with her fooleries, or this, or the strange woman. These, these false doctrines and, and philosophies out there, man. These different lies and strongholds. Like the stronghold we getting into right now. I'm trying to graft the fucking heathen in, in, into this, man. This, the olive tree doesn't speak of that, man. That's right. not what that's talking about. It's Isaiah 1 and 9. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like them to Gomorrah. That's the point. You know, if you wouldn't have left a remnant, man, we'd all, this whole, the whole nation would be desolate, man. So the Lord had to leave a remnant, and that was those men that stayed faithful to the Lord, man. The elect, the chosen. The chosen of the chosen. The Israel of the Most High. Right. Go ahead. It says, uh, back in Romans 11 and 5, even so, then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. That's right, go ahead. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. Right, so grace is that period for brothers to, to, to basically labor, man, to get right. That's when your works come in under grace. But that grace, really pertaining to the elect, as it's saying. Right. Go ahead. It said, if by grace, then it is no more of works. Other, otherwise, grace is mo no more grace. Yep. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, works is no more works. Yep. What then? Israel has not obtained that which it seeketh for. Now, but and, the, what, and what is Israel trying to seek at the end of the day? They're trying to seek the truth. But it's not getting to them. That's why in Romans 10 it say they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge, man. Go ahead. It says, uh, What well, then? Israel has not obtained that which it seeketh for, uh -huh. but the election have obtained it, yep. and the rest were blinded. Hey. So that, hey, man. If he, why is, why is the Lord going to graft in heathens? If he blinded two thirds of his own people, right? He only kept a remnant of his people, man, preserved. He said he took a remnant of them, and they obtained the truth. The rest of them was blinded from it. So obviously, you dudes that's teaching that, you gotta quell against the Most High, then, man. Yep. 
<laughs> you got to call it against his program. And you got your own program that you're trying to run. The most I gonna start fucking you niggas up, man. Right. There's a lot of precepts on that. It's just, you know? Just a quick one. Good. Couldn't say they had a clue against the Most High, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Romans 9 and 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? Right. God forbid. That's right, man. <laughs> the Most High is balanced, man. He's perfect. Right. Who the fuck are you? Your mind is earthly, man. It's not. You don't have a mind from the heaven. You're on the earth right now. Right. You don't know the thoughts or the minds of the most side, man. Go back. It says, uh, hey, this is uh, Romans 11 and 8. According as it is written, the most side hath given them the spirit of slumber, yeah. eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear yeah. unto this day. Hey, to this day, man. From back then, even to this day. Jake is blind, man. Right. And even you niggas that's teaching that bullshit and you think that you're right, you're blind too. And, but guess what? If the blind lead the blind, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Don't go far to the ditch. You know? So that, that ice that that ice queen uh, fruit beer, that dude, man. Everybody that's listening and following your ass, man. Y'all all y'all all gonna be put to death, man. Right. Straight up and down, man. Everybody listening to Nate's ass. If y'all following him in that in, in, in that day, you're gonna get put to death, man. That's right. Along with him. Everybody on the bubble line, same go for you. Everybody under fucking general, uh, general, uh, Yohana, gay nuts. Call, call him Johanna so they know who right, exactly general we're Yohana. talking about. Yeah. I don't want them to come across a video black. I don't know any Gehenna. No, nah, it's Johanna. Right. You know, which we took that name from because he don't deserve that name. Right. You got to give him Gehenna and all these other names. Because yeah, he don't deserve that name. Greek for hell, right? Yeah. Yeah. You even got the Hebrew name for him. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? you got the Greek and the Gentile. Uh, uh, 11 and 9 And David said let, let the table be made a snare And a trap And a stumbling block And a recompense unto them Hey, <laughs> So King David was uh, uh, Praying against you niggas man right. He was cursing y'all Way back then And he damn sure would be cursing y'all now Because Y'all trying to make way for this fucking devil to, to come into this, man. Saying that Edomites can make it. King David, he, he, he cursed y'all for that, man. That's right. King David hated Edomites, man. Him and Joab used to go to Mount Seir and kill off everything moving except for the women. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb niggas. It's Ezekiel 14 and 9. And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet. Yep. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. All the, all these niggas that we get on, including the pastors. Right. You know? They not exempt either. I definitely go for them. You know? Pastor uh, Price is right. Uh, Kearney <laughs> Thomas. And I go to your even low level churches, man. I got that 501c3 charter yeah, that's man. in that church house and they pushing the right doctrine. Yeah. That ain't on the highways and the hedges, too. That go for them, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, verse 10 it says, And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. Hey, so. That's basically saying you're going to die just like all the people that's following your ass. That's right. Because everybody that's following you, you're leading them to death, and their blood is going to be required at your fucking hands, man. That's right. So you and your congregation are going to all fall into that ditch. As long as you keep deceiving them and having them believing in lies, man. You know? 
No. You had some or no, no, no. Go back. Okay. Uh, verse ten in in Romans eleven. It says, "Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back always." Uh -huh. Eleven. It says, "I say then, have they stumbled, that they should fall? God forbid. But rather, through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles." Now, that's where it gets, mm -hmm. you know, it's got heavy. It gets a little heavy, but that's only for you know them niggas. They should know, man. But even to both sincere brothers, man, as I said, trying to get this, we're gonna we're gonna break it down for you, you know, through the spirit. Now, basically, read that over again. Okay. Uh, Romans eleven and eleven. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, or Yahweh forbid. Uh, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles, uh -huh. for to provoke them to jealousy. Now. The reason why he's saying that is because it was a point in time when Israel did get put away, you know? Because Israel was going off. And when they went astray, that's when they became Gentiles. They became like the heathen. But the Lord established an everlasting covenant with them. And we read earlier in the scripture where it said the Lord will not cast off his people, which he foreknew. So basically, what ended up happening was that a portion of Israel had to get put away for the and and basically they had to fall away for the Israelite foreigners to come in. Right. Because the ones that fell away, they didn't get a chance to have the, the full uh they were basically aliens from the Commonwealth, from the yeah. covenant. I'm looking for that right now. You know? So they eventually became Gentiles. Now it's said to provoke them to jealousy. Now Moses spoke about that in Deuteronomy the 32nd chapter. Did somebody get that for me? Deuteronomy 32 and I believe 10. Because Mo uh, Moses basically prophesied in it. That he was going to provoke Israel to jealousy with a nation that is not his people. So you know, when you read that, we want their end shall be, for they are a very foreign generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not, which is not a power. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. That's right, man. So he was basically prophesying that he was going to uh, provoke Israel to jealousy, man, because the Lord, you know what I'm saying? He, just like we, where we get our emotions from, from the Most High, man, because we're made in His image. That's right. So if He's a jealous power, we gonna be jealous. We made the Lord jealous by going after strange, uh, strange idols, man, right. our nation. So the Lord, in, in turn, He was like, "Well, shit, I, I'm gonna make y'all jealous then." So those that were actually uh, among Israel, that was actually keeping the so-called keeping the law and the customs in Jerusalem. They looked at all the other uh, Israelites that were outcast as heathens and Gentiles because they wasn't doing what they was doing in the land. That's right. They wasn't keeping the law. They wasn't, you know, they didn't have their beards and shit they like that. They didn't know they was, was They didn't Israel. even know that they was Israel. You know? So they became, and, and once salvation was sent through Paul to them, 
the, uh, the Israelites that was in the land, they were the ones that were getting jealous, man. Right. And they started getting on Paul's head for it. Why are you eating with the uncircumcised? Because they was going to the Gentiles, which were the Israelites. Uh, basically, let's get clarification on where it say, um, come, where it say I will provoke them to jealousy with them that are good people. Can you read that? Matter of fact, yeah, read that and then go from there and we'll get one of those Come, yep. Can you read it right now? Not 12, uh, 10 and 19. Oh, come, come, come. Uh, Romans 11 and 11 says, uh, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? Yahweh forbid. But rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. So rather through, their, through the fall of the Israelites in the land, the scribes and Pharisees, you know, and the Jews that were uh, forsaken, that, that uh, forsook the Lord, that wasn't believing, Salvation was like, salvation was sent to the Israelites that was without, man. You know? It was sent to them. And they were actually humble. They took it. And they were being happy when they was uh, preaching to them in the, uh, the, the synagogues, man. Mm -hmm. You can get that in uh, Matthew 21. Something we didn't go over, bro, was uh, the word Gentile in the Greek. What right. that means. It's a lot. And it yeah. means, it's, it's, the word it? yeah, it's the word ethnos. God. Which uh, generally means uh, a multitude of individuals of the same nature. Of the same nature, right? Yeah, so they're from the same, the same people. Yep. You know, uh, as as, the, which as Israel. Which basically, when you ask somebody what's their ethnicity or their ethnic group, mm -hmm. that's that that's things from that word ethnos, man. Yep. You know, so those people were actually the same ethnicity as them. But they were without the, the, the law, man. That's what made them different. That's what made the uncircumcision and the circumcision different. The Israelites that was in the circumcision were keeping the law. The ones that were breaking the laws and that didn't have the law, they were uncircumcised. Right. They, they showed that in the book of Maccabees, man. When Alexander came on the scene and Antiochus and all them devils, they made, they made Jake stop keeping the law. And if they was to keep the law, they would get put to death. So they was forced to be Gentiles, man. But going back to uh, Romans 11, where it said he would provoke them to jealousy. Oh, um, somebody got Romans 10. Get Romans 10 and 19 real quick. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 19. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people. So he said he would provoke you with, to jealousy with them that are no people. Who is that talking about? The ethnos. The Israelite foreigners. Now go, now finish that and you go to Acts uh, 13. And by a foolish nation I will anger you. By a foolish nation will he anger them. Anger them. Hey, it's yeah. lucky. Just like kind of nowadays times, man. Comparing it to back then, our people is no people. Yep. Our people don't have a, a nationality that dates back past slavery, yep. okay. before slavery. You go into all these history books, you got uh, uh, you got the, uh, the Greeks, you got the Romans, you got the Persians, yep. you got the Medes, you got the Babylonians. And when you try to go into a Negroes or Latinos history or Native Americans, you can't go. You can't go nowhere. They try to uh, falsify the Native Americans. The furthest they could go back is to the Bering Strait. <laughs> but what about before that? Right. You know, so even nowadays our people is, is no people, man. That's yep. right. And back then it was basically 
No different than today. Back then, when the Israelite foreigners was cast off, they was it was told to them like, man, y'all not the people of God. Them is y'all y'all heathens. And they were being told that from other Israelites, man. Yeah. Some of them who knew. Exactly. Go ahead, get that in Acts. Okay, Acts. Okay, so uh, Acts 13 and 45. Yeah, it says, uh, but when the Jews saw the multitudes, that they were filled with envy and spake against those things which they were spoken, which was spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. And to, to kind of clear that up, that's basically saying that um, they thought it was only for Israel, but the people that seemed like Paul was, was teaching to was about uh, looked like heathens, but they were Hellenists of uh, uh, Israel that was under uh, other customs and took on the um, may even took it on the look of those other nations that were in those other lands. Uh, Forty six. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, "It was necessary that the word of the Most High should first have been spoken to you." But seeing ye put it from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, <laughs> lo, we turn to the Gentiles. Yeah, Paul was like, well, shit, y'all, you know, y'all making such a big deal and shit. Y'all making, you know, this is something that y'all need, but y'all want to be like that. All right, fuck y'all. We're going to go to them that actually need it. They're the ones that are humbled down, you know? So, hey, the hell with y'all. So it's going to be taken from them and given to a nation bringing forth uh, fruits, man. And not to mention the Lord himself, because he didn't, he didn't just stay within the, uh, the Eastern world. He came out this way. That's right. Because you had the Northern Kingdom on this side of the world. And that's why in John, where it says, uh, where, uh, where, the, where, where he go that we can't find him. Well, he going to the disperse among the Gentiles to yeah. teach the Gentiles. What was he? What was? What was he? Uh, what were they saying? Because the Lord said, "Where I where I will go, you can't seek me, or you can you will not be able to find me." He went and taught the Northern Kingdom, man. Yeah. And that and and they were supposed to be brought in as well, because that's that's the ultimate uh, reason why the Lord. Uh, uh, came because not only he had to die for the sins of the elect, he had to bring the, the northern and southern kingdom back as one. Right. He had to bring them back, man. Because when Solomon went off, what happened? The kingdom got split. And yeah. they got separated, man. Two sons, right. And basically when you're a foreigner from the land, you're known as an alien or 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 a Gentile, man. Gentilis. So the northern kingdom in a roundabout way became Gentiles too because they were way away from the land. Yep. They were, uh, to, to do a little bit of edification on the ten tribes, when they got sent over here, it was so that they could keep the law. Exactly. Because they were just going off with every land that they was in, picking up every doctrine and every uh, yep. every uh, custom of the other nations that was you know around about them. They came over here, but when they came over here, they didn't keep the customs either. Exactly. According to prophecy. This is John 10 and 16. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. One fold and one shepherd, man. So that sheep is talking about, do you know, the, the, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom of the elect that's going to come together in the end. That heard the Lord's word and it sparked up in the spirit and sent the fire into him, man. John 10 and 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep. Yeah, as and, I, and that's talking about uh, the scribes and Pharisees, man. And, the, and, the, and the, the certain Israelites that was in the land that was part of the circumcision. That was putting hell on the apostles, the, you know, the disciples, the Lord himself. Y'all wasn't the sheep that heard, man. 